Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tiscon Talks. And in this episode, we have Mr. Hari, who is the head of Sales South, and we have Mr. Surya here, who is the head of Product Application Group South. Welcome to the show, sir. Hi. Thank you. Hi. So, sir, with respect to the innovation that is happening in Tata Tiscon, I think we are releasing a wide range of products uh, that is going to come out. It's a new technique or a new application of the TMT rebar. that uh, tata tiscon has a a new testing verification uh, formula that tata tiscon has prepared and also we've also thought about the third order problems that um, in ground that the masons or the builders are facing with respect to the application end of the rebars that we guys are um, pushing out there so the first thing that i wanted to ask you guys is what is crs what is the crs tmt that we are pushing out these days yeah so uh the tmt which is made using corrosion resistant steel is what we are calling it as crs tmt and uh, as you know that india has a very beautiful and long coastline and you see a growing number of bungalows villas resorts and many construction which is happening along the coastline so while there is a lot of beauty in that environment the salinity of that environment affects steel in a very bad way and it reduces the life of steel So that is why we have come up with a new product called a corrosion resistant steel rebars in the market. So sir what is the corrosion resistance property of the CRS that we are pushing out in the market? Yeah. So this corrosion resistance actually comes from two different steps. One is impurities at its lowest. So we call it as cleanliness. At most cleanliness which it comes from and adding alloying elements in a desired way. so these two things can get the corrosion resistance properties to the rebar so that way tata steel pioneers in creating a new product which is both super ductile and corrosion resistance which will be more self reliant and tough material in the market interesting so from a consumer standpoint i have a crs rebar and i have a tata tiscon 550 sd rebar what is the difference in strength and ductility in each one of them is it the same is it different and can you just explain me a bit more about that in corrosion resistant steel the chemistry will be slightly different since we are adding alloying elements the chemistry will not be same we will have some added copper chromium some small portions of nickel and phosphorus and all these things now regarding the strength levels see by not disturbing the regular chemistry if we add alloying elements the strength will further increase but idea is to maintain the target property band so that customer also will not see any deviations so that way we designed the chemistry we added alloying elements and we designed the chemistry in such a way that the target mechanical properties will be at par with 550 st and corrosion resistance in added advantage interesting so who are the target consumers for this market so like i said in the beginning that one is the saline coastal environment where uh, this will definitely add life apart from that also any high moisture areas hilly terrains which receive high rainfall that could be the next set of areas where corrosion resistant steel will be useful also we are seeing a huge problem on the quality of water used in construction you see uh, water which is having either acidic or alkaline in nature so that also affects the quality of steel on the long run there we can use corrosion resistant steel and uh, finally also in water tanks or water wells which are constructed where the structure is always in contact with water so these are some of the application areas where crs tmt can be beneficial interesting so talking about water and how the water purity is not maintained across construction areas as you know the alloy in crs tmt is very porous in nature so how are the impurities acting and adding to the benefit of the crs rebar yeah so normally once a rebar gets rusted the rust is porous in nature so as long as it is porous the base material will have interaction with the environment oxygen will intrude whether it is through medium or through atmosphere in whatever way it is this is natural so the best way is to create a barrier effect so how to create the barrier effect one is by doing coatings on the rebar there are many coatings costlier some serve the purpose in one way or the other some won't serve the purpose so we thought rebar itself can become a self reliant so by adding copper copper solubility in steel is very less so it starts coming out and it forms a layer so people call it as patina when this this blocks the porous nature of the rust 
so the rest what is formed will be tighter denser porous will be lesser the lesser the barrier now the chrome also there will be small portions if you know very well if we increase the chrome it will become stainless steel so it will be like you know very small portions of chrome also which forms a layer chrome oxide and also the phosphorus and nickel also will be maintained accordingly as per the requirement that way the characteristic layer which forms on the surface will act like a barrier and will enhance the life of the rebar that's how the property works and through this the ductility and strength of the rebar is maintained the same across all the different versions either it's crs or either is the 550 sd rebar so as the consumer buying this rebar when using in construction practices may not use correct construction practices to actually use them and with mr nazmul in our previous episode guys you guys can go check that out you can see that correct construction practices is one of the more important things and i think uh, the pag team has done a really amazing job going actually on site and figuring out with the masons where it is lagging a bit and helping the ecosystem to grow together and one of the products as such is the tata tiscon's mandrel so do you guys want to explain the tata tiscon mandrel a bit yeah so i'll discuss about the need for such mandrel like you said that right method of construction is equally or more important then having the right product so while we are enhancing the products with new and better features what we see is usually the construction methods are not updated so one of the area is is bending the rebar so all rebars come at 12 meter straight length and they have to be cut and bent in various shapes and forms to make rings ties etc so but the method which is used for bending them is using smaller pins and it is bent in a very crude way so that as the grade of the steel is kept on increasing to 550 today it becomes very difficult for the masons to bend it using this crude way of bending and second also it creates lot of internal stress in the product which can cause failure at later point of time so this is the genesis or the need for us to develop what is called a tata discon mandrel and uh, it will definitely enhance the safe construction practices so mr surya how do you actually use the tata tiscon mandrel where there are different sizes of rebars that you guys are selling obviously and there are different sizes of mandrels that you guys actually give out to consumers so how does that work yeah perfect so let's understand this huh? normally in rebar construction practices most of the people use either nails or pins here and they try to bend it So imagine a rebar like this. When you bend it, the surface on the top will try to get tensile force, and the bottom surface will get compressive force. The rebar is also like this; it will become like this. So the material is going through a stress zone. As per the standards, the mandrel diameter and the rebar diameter, the ratio should be at least four times. So if we use this kind of a pin, which generally conventionally market may happens. this is not even equal to the diameter of the rebar it is not even one time so you are exerting more stress which can further lead to corrosion property deterioration the purpose is lost so standards recommend properly so when we understood that what is actually happening in the market we started creating a simple solution by designing this mandrel so we created two designs one is complete block like this other is a telescopic block which can go inside like this so for a given rebar diameter choose the right mandrel use it as a telescopic like this and then just bend it the ease will be much more in terms of bending there is no stress the material has been bent properly the life has been saved properly that's how you extract the value from the mandrel so this is how we designed and we launched a pilot in both kerala and tamil nadu the feedback was extraordinary from masons and engineering community so here tata discount doesn't only ensure that the right rebar and the correct alloy is being sent to the consumer but also making sure that that ductility and strength that tata discount is able to provide to the consumer they are able to use it in full force using the mandrel so one more thing about the ring test you guys are launching uh, one of the new uh, verification formulas that is uh, state of the art in the industry that nobody has launched Uh, till date verifying the quality of rebar and also the structural integrity of the rebar would you would you guys want to explain a bit more on that there are various types of tmt rebars which are there in the market and they come at different quality levels right for a consumer who is buying the steel for his home construction or for any other construction for that matter by looking at the product it's very difficult for them to ascertain which is a good quality product 
and which is not uh, especially the top most two quality parameters when it comes to steel for structural application is strength and ductility right but uh, unfortunately without doing a expensive mechanical lab test you cannot ascertain whether which rebar has a better strength and ductility that is where we thought why don't we come up with a simple visually easy to understand kind of a test or a mechanism through which a customer can verify between two rebars which is better relatively so that's how the discount tata discount ring test has been launched in the market and uh, so it it is similar to the carat meter which is used in the jewelry introduced by tanish which at ascertains the quality of or purity of the gold in the jewelry so similar to that we have attempted and we are seeing good response from the consumers who are using that so what is specifically the need of using this uh, ring test uh, which you guys are the giving to the dealers out there the very need comes from the basic question that can you differentiate okay and not okay rebar in the market as a customer as a layman if i go there to any shop and say that i want rebar they will give you three different types of rebars for example x y z so how do you know which one is good by looking at the branding or marketing or the dealer's voice people tend to take some decision some people go with some what talk over the town and they say that okay let's select this like okay. what we thought was while many people attempt this the trust the nature needs to be demonstrated at the site itself so how do we do that one way if you want to really test a rebar it is a destructive process you have to take the correct sample send it to the lab destruct it and then give it and will that represent the entire lot again so is there any way to do non destructive testing people say ultrasonic is there which are costly affairs we thought we want to put up a simple test which is non destructive which can be very simple and used only for verification that material is okay or not so based upon that we simplified the version of microstructure study and we used it just a drop mm. a drop of nitrile solution on the rebar surface cross ca- cross cut surface it clearly distinguishes between the two faces the outer layer which is hard strength representative and the inner layer which is soft which is for ductility so if these two layers are clearly distinguished a minimum of 5 to 7% to, can go up to 10% also properly concentrated re- circle around the soft inner circle can give a clear depiction that the material is okay this is the first thing while we always do lot of security measures in terms of ribs tata discount logo and all these things this kind of a test can be done on any brand and if the ring is there then there is a clear cut that yes a minimum ratio has been maintained for the requirement that's how the simple test has been demonstrated at the site yes yeah. so what are the properties of these rings it being concentric it being thick small how does that affect the uh, actual application of the riba yeah so normally if let's say if the ring outer layer is very high then the material will be very hard the ductility is compromised if the outer layer is not at all there at some portion half covered less than 5% or these things that means material is soft people can bend ribbon 100 times also but you are compromising on the strength values so a properly concentrated pictures of okay not okay with high definition things has been displayed a drop of nitrile clearly distinguishing two microstructures with the two rings that can give a clear depiction of the okay material that's how it works so here tata discount not only is getting out new materials like crs onto the market but also teaching the builders how to use these materials to retain and utilize the maximum potential of the 550 mpa that tata discount is providing to making sure and verifying if this is the right rebar for your application or if this is the right rebar for you to buy or not right yes yes, yes exactly so that's what we are not only giving the right product we are enabling the right usage and we are also empowering the consumers to choose the right product for their home so that's how we are catering to each and every stakeholder that's very interesting so for the consumers out there you guys can go to your nearest tata discount dealer and you guys can perform the ring test yourself to verify if this is a tmd riba and also you can talk to your nearest builders and know how helpful the mandrel is for themselves Thank you Mr. Sudan thank you Mr. Hari for joining me on this episode Thank you thank you for having us